Traders, get ready because I will take you through the most powerful institutional order block that you can trade. The best institutional order block to trade from is the one that is responsible for a change of character. We will be using three time frames in order to enter the perfect trade. You can also do it by using only two time frames though. I am on the one hour time frame on Euro US dollar. Here we see that we are in a general uptrend, but in this occasion I see that we have change of character. This means that with this impulsive leg that you see right here, we did break structure towards the downside and this one did not hold as an area after this break of structure in order for price to go towards the upside. Now potentially this new order block right here on the one hour time frame becomes our new point of interest in order to go short. What we are gonna do right now, we are gonna be monitoring price action and I'm gonna be moving forward. As I said, this one is the one hour order block responsible for this change of character. And the most powerful institutional order blocks out there are the ones responsible for a change of character. What I will be doing now though, I will be scaling down to the 15 minute time frame and I will be identifying the 15 minute order block within this one hour order block. And it is this candlestick as you see it right here. I will go ahead, take my gun box and note down the 50% level of this order block. Now I will be waiting for price to retrace back into this area. Let's move forward on the 15 minute time frame. I'm moving forward and forward and waiting for price to react from this previous area. We are in this area and by following fully comprehensive strategies as the ones that I have in the premium course, you can take your charts from this situation that you see right now on the screen to this situation, which is the exact statistics that my trading strategies are giving. I have certain rules that you can follow and you can literally explode your trading accounts if you follow my strategies step by step and to the point. So let's move on with this strategy. I am expecting for price to react from this area. One thing that you can do instantly, I have talked about it a bunch of times, you can go ahead and take your entry instantly with a pending order from the 50% level of this 15 minute order block. One other thing that you can do within this 15 minute order block, you can be scaled down in the one minute time frame and you can check for a change of character. Such change of character would have happened here and you can place again your stop loss above this area. So these are two different types of entries that you can use until now. And I will talk about the third type of entry. Let me go ahead and play price action as it evolves right here. So these are two different types of entries. You always choose one type of entry that you want to follow. Here, on the other hand, we saw the reaction from the one hour order block now we are on the 15 minute time frame. What do we see again? We see another change of character now on the 15 minute time frame, which is right here. What did we say in this video and the purpose of this video that the strongest and most powerful institutional order block to trade from is the one which is responsible for a change of character. So as you can see, we are in these orders. Now what I can do which is the order block responsible for this break of structure. If I just extend it and I zoom in right here, it has all started from this order block right here. I can indeed go down now on the one minute time frame and just make this area even smaller. Some people will go ahead and include only this one. I will also include this one right here. And since I don't know from which one price is gonna be reacting, I will just go ahead and place my pending order either here or at the 50% level. In this occasion, it will be going here since we are referring to the one minute time frame. So I have one of these orders running already right here. I have closed partials in this occasion and I can indeed go ahead and get another entry from the change of character of the 15 minute order block this time. Once again, in order to recap things, I will just go ahead and delete this one for the moment. 
I saw the change of character on the one hour time frame with impulsive movement. I noted down the one hour order block responsible for this change of character. Nonetheless, I switched down to the 15 minute time frame and I did narrow down this area of the one hour order block from something like this to something like this one and you can place an order at the 50% level or you can wait for a change of character once price retraces into the order block on the one minute time frame. I placed this one order which was at the 50% level let's say as a pending order then I saw the same thing, a change of character on the 15 minute time frame this time within the one hour order block that we saw the change of character. So it is from time frame to time frame we are looking for the same exact thing. I went ahead and I just noted down the whole 15 minute order block which is this one. I scaled down to the one minute time frame and I did narrow it down to this one because I don't know if it's going to be reacting from this one or from this one right here and hence I do include the whole area which in other ways on the 15 minute time frame is just a week okay the week is an order block on its own I place my other pending order and there you go this goes our today's video go ahead and backtest it with paper money and just type down in the comment section how strong this strategy is this is gonna do it for today and thank you all for watching until next time